Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Thanks for watching my video. And today I'm going to talk to you about several events coming up. It is time for Twin Flames to be falling into place. Get it? Fall, autumn. And that's in the Northern Hemisphere. Of course, you're springing forward in the Southern Hemisphere. So, it, we have several events coming up here. You have a new moon solar eclipse this weekend, September 13th. You have the equinox on September 23rd. You have the full harvest moon lunar eclipse September 27th. And we're, I'm going to talk about some of these in detail in the larger scope of things. And also, what does it mean individually? What do you catch on to? What are you looking for? Uh, a lot of things I do cover in my webinars. Thank you to everyone who's bought my webinars. Thanks to everyone who's written and told me that you went back and looked at some of the older videos because while, you know, I wasn't too good with the camera work and I didn't have my friend doing the wonderful artistry here, uh, there was a lot of good inf base information and a lot of you are coming into those times. There will be much of this will go in waves where there's a crescendo there you can feel the momentum there is a momentum created there's a momentum created and you either stick with it or what happens if you don't if you let go if you let go of your own momentum if you uh decide you know you're a, you're the only one that's putting up that wall the universe isn't putting up walls. We've dismantled things, and especially the Blu-ray. A lot of the waiting has been waiting while the higher levels, and that does mean Blu-ray people, with their connections, have been uh, doing large parts of the orchestration. As I talked about in my one video, things have to be sensible, things have to be safe. And I know that this is coming just like I know I've already seen three sets of geese. I've had all kinds of messages. The messages are just coming in hot and heavy. And I hope for a lot of you, you're getting your messages to keep one step in front of the other. So I'm, I'm sticking to my message. I really don't care. Don't even send me things of, Patricia, this person said that. I got my message and it's full steam ahead. So... There is a convergence point here for you, too. And even if you've met your twin, even if you're living together, and I really applaud a lot of you who are making a go of it. Strength. You are strong people. Keep going. Um, this is going to mean intense, full awakenings for people. What do we know about spiritual awakenings? Oh, it's bumpy, it's turbulent, things shut down, the universe closes doors, it rips the rug out from under you. It sometimes means getting sick because as you're ascending, your vibration, you, vibrationally, you cannot be near certain things. And if you are, sometimes that's where the feeling of feeling sick comes from. This is driven by vibrations. Your twin is the only person in the entire universe that has the same matching vibration as you. They really do. And you're going to feel it. And what, what was that? Somebody just said, but my twin doesn't want me. But you, were, you are destined to be together. And so you're down to some of the timing, which is what I'm here to talk about. The new moon solar eclipse. Now, this is one of the great equalizers. As a lot of you know, the majority of the feminine, and that doesn't mean only ladies or only women or girls, the majority of the feminine, those people who hold the feminine energies, you've been ready for a while. You've gotten really ready. You've been holding and holding, and you're holding that higher line. You're holding it, you're holding it, and holding it. And what happens? You can't feel, and your twin has shut down things. And guess what? The unplugging to plug in higher, that's what's been going on. There has to be a confluence of receiving back and forth, receiving higher and lower, transmuting the lower, pulling in the higher, pulling it down. 
So this is going to be strong and urgent for some twins. Stay calm with it because the very thing that you've been wanting and expecting, if you're not staying calm and holding steady for your twin, I'll tell you what that's like. That's going to be like trying to hold a kite and you're like, whoa, 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 oh gosh, the, I, that's it, I'm going to drop the line. And a lot of you have dropped the line and a lot of you have been hanging on. Or trying, did you ever try and bring a boat or something that's in some other medium into shore or push a car or something? And you just need that one focal point. You are that focal point. You're it. You are the homing device. You are what your twin flame hones in on energetically, spiritually, and vibrationally. This is a soul thing. It's not a head thing. I've said that again and again and again. The head, your soul does not care about your file cabinet of a brain. It just doesn't. This is a soul thing. And so, yeah, the strong, strong currents, the urgency, and our requirement to stay calm. Patience. Please be patient. Please trust the process. Because depending upon who you are, you're going to have uh, sometimes the knowledge of why did these things happen as you come closer and closer together. There is something to be said about physical proximity. And your bodies house the other half, the inner chakras that you need to connect. They're in that other person. You are important to each other. So this is the incoming divine masculine being received by the divine feminine who frequently has been holding. And I've spoken to people who've woken up months ago. So we're talking months. We've t I talked to people who it's been 35 years of waiting. There's no right or wrong to that. This, again, is a timing thing. It has to do with what are your agreements? What needs to be healed? What needs to be worked on? And there's no hierarchy. It's not like taking a number at the deli and say, wait a minute, my number was first. It's not like that. Because a lot of times those people who only woke up a certain month ago, they've had three or four really bumpy previous lives. And that was their preparation time. That was their time for healing. This equinox this equinox this is the equalizing this is where you have these cords and these plugs into you where you're plugged into the higher 5d and one of you is coming like this and one is coming like this and things are equalizing and you're bringing things towards each other you will continue moving towards each other you will meet each other. You will be together. That's a given. And like I say, it's the timing. Some of you are deciding on your own timelines. And those timelines, if you've held on and held on and held on, the first wave of Blu-ray Twin Flames is whooshing through right at the equinox because things will be equalized and you're going to be integrating. This is going to mean reunion. I've also gotten the word homecoming. And migration, migration is going to mean movements. It's going to mean physical movements, geographical movements. And we're seeing some of these things reflected in the, in the media, in the news. Uh, the migrants trying to get to safety, trying to get to where there's some semblance of life and love. And uh, a lot of the words I got, I got departures, breakups, children, childhood issues, childhood abuse, child abuse, health care, guidance, reality for the children. That means that their lives are very real. They are aware that this is uh, happening. They're usually aware on some level that they're a part of your union. Don't stress about the kids. Include them. Movement. And as I said, homecoming. Who is tired of the karma drama? Karma drama, karma drama, karma drama. Yes, that is 
quite a bit of what's happening now. And it's catching the subtle nuances of it. The part that you're in where it is your cosmic and your universal body now, it's incumbent upon you to catch the subtleties, the nuances, because those are the deep things that still affect you. That's where you're going to still find those festering sores, those resentments. And only you are holding those things. Only one of you is usually holding a resentment. The other one isn't. And yet, that can be a wall. Many people feel that. Anger is wall. No, the word no to your twin is wall. And so the karma drama, old karma is still falling away. The Blu-ray twin flames have dismantled the karmic template of relationship. And that's what we use to interact with soulmates. We now have the 5D template of sacred union. And that's what many of you are pulling, receiving, equalizing and integrating you have to form fit it to you you're no longer cookie cutter people you're not human you're human angelics twin flames are angelics that is who we are we have had many forms as angelics so this is going to include breakups divorces relocations job changes childhood abuse diseases health issues the children will support your union and yes it means being home with each other together in your grid point and for blue rays the blood moon and the blood pertains to several things this is the stuff in the genetics it's the genetics you you've made up of the blood is a fluid we're still in these uh, fluid energies okay the blood is also lifeblood. Don't be afraid by these terms. But the actual real blood moon is at the end of October, and that is when the first wave of blue rays are expected to be together. Some people may not like to hear this, but blue ray twin flames are source beings, and it's incumbent upon them to fire up the grid so that other people they're able to connect themselves to those higher level connections. Everything's done. The infrastructure is sufficiently in. And the first people can go. So some of the things that I, I want to talk to you about, you know, people say, well, you know, why does this take so long? Okay, I'm going to give you one example from my own life. As a lot of you know, I have a little boy. And he just changed schools. He is going into sixth grade. And he needed a new set of shots. And it's the law here. There's really not any way around it except to homeschool. Um, they, they get certain vaccinations. And this the intention there is to keep people from being sick. And I don't really want to hear all the conspiracy theories about it. But one of the things that struck me as... Uh, protecting the children and again this was not available when I was young and growing up although I've been tested many people many women when they get a gynecological exam get tested for this HPV virus and you might say what is that there's 40 different strains of this virus they cause cancer they are usually transmitted sexually and they can cause cervical cancer ovarian cancer uterine cancer and uh, anal cancer in boys they can cause testicular cancer throat cancer anal cancer and you or rectal cancer and you might say well you know boys don't get that sick I'm gonna tell you something my dad had prostate cancer um, several other I've known several men who have had breast cancer and yeah men do get sick men get sick Women get sick. And as I was holding my son, because I had to clamp him down and really hold him so he wouldn't fidget, because this one hurt going in. And they uh, said to me, I said, but why does he need this? He's one of the questions. He's not sexually active. He doesn't, you know. And they said, because of predators. 
There's social media, there's predators out there. There are people that will prey on your children and get them sick. And I thought, how many women were abused or raped or molested by someone and wound up with the effects of cancer because they got sick from someone and didn't know it, had no way to prevent it. So these these are some of the health care measures and protections we're putting in for the young children. And there were opportunities for many people as adults to be with their twin flame, to get a move on, get the breakups, get the divorce, knew it, were afraid. The focus is now on the children because the children are also going to keep growing and they are getting rid of their karmic issues. They will be near the unions of other twin flames or they will be part of a new family when these breakups and divorces happen. And it's not a criticism. There are still some countries in the world where you can't get a divorce. It's It just is. Um, there's, there's reasons for it. Uh, not the best reasons, but there's reasons. And you can't criticize people if their hands are tied. But these are some of the things that we're breaking up. When, when there's movement, and that is the movement, relocations, you're moving, you're migrating, you're on the move, and the energy gets pushed, these stagnations, these old archaic laws can start to move out and the love move in. And there's going to be a lot of people with a lot of opinions. Um, my main gist is I would like to be able to go home to the fifth dimension. How about you? Who wants to be able to go home to the fifth dimension? So, um, what you, w one of the things I wanted to let you know is this divine masculine energy that's being received. How does that come in? Well, and this, this may surprise some of you, although I may, you know, ring that bell for you when I say this. Over the next few weekends, so in other words, we are not getting to September 23rd. We actually started with the August Lionsgate of gradually the opening and the opening and pulling in. And people have been feeling this every weekend, the depression of the collective, the dense energies of the collective. Um, sometimes what I call the sea mist, the sea mist rolls into town and you could feel an energy that is uh, coming in. The divine masculine is at a high vibration. It gets slowed down. It can sometimes make your body feel like you're getting chilled to the bone. And the best thing to do, because this is slated over the next several weekends and actually into next year, but for those people coming together, you and your twin will be able to integrate. If this is new to you, and you don't know, and you say, yeah, Patricia, it feels like I get a fever. I get this fever, this weird fever every weekend. I never quite get fully sick, or I feel achy. I feel pains. I'm feeling pains in my private area. I feel pains in my lower back, my hips, my legs, my knees, my shoulders, and some people are still feeling the eyes. And by the way, eye gazing is the way to heal with your twin flame. That's the way we heal. Sun gazing, I don't recommend it. It can burn out your retina. So one of the things that uh, you may feel is these incoming energies. It's coming in in sort of a mist. Very small, very delicate, and your vibration will match. Your twin flame's energies are coming to you. If you don't know what to do to integrate it, if you find that you have um, distress in your private part area, your solar plexus, here, if, if you're feeling distressed when you eat, if you're feeling a lot of intensity around your head, a lot of people will feel it right at the level of the pituitary gland, okay? Try the exercises. Get my webinar that I just did for September. It has specific exercises. And another thing to know, I'm going to say this and be really specific with you because I don't want to be light and fluffy <laughs> about it. I need to be clear with you. 
getting rid of your fears. That was my comment in the one video about the closet. Please get your fears out, okay? You're getting them out by the bundles. Your uh, body will tell you things. You'll feel pokes, pains, pings. You'll feel vibrations. You'll feel maybe spirally energy. You'll feel icky things. And you're going to have to do your best to get it out. If you don't know what to do, by my webinar, my September webinar, I have six exercises. Some of you have said, Patricia, my twin flame drinks or a combo effect, what I call the combo effect. Your twin flame drinks, smokes, takes drugs, takes meds, sleeps with other people, and you can feel it. And you're tired of it. And you're saying, but I've done everything the right way. I, I you know, I'm not getting it. You have to keep doing it. You have to keep pulling those things out of your twin. I've made the exercises as easy as I can possibly make it. Six minutes, ten minutes out of your day. But the key is patience and persistence. It's only you can hold your love bubble up. Only you can feel this pervasive depression in the air and stay calm stay calm. It's hitting all of us. I went through it. I said, what is that? What is that in the air? It's not in my nature. And I got busy. I turned on some dance music. I bopped around. Um, I decided I was going to have some ice cream. You know, it's up to you to get yourself up again. Only you can do that. And some people are better at it than others. Some people that this is very new to, I'm really sorry, but it won't be like this forever, but it is you having to step up here if you don't know what to do. My webinar that I did in May that I called Daily Living in Multidimensionality, because this is it. This is going to give you, that webinar will give you um, suggestions, it will give you tips, it will give you things of what to do for keeping and maintaining yourself along with some exercises and this is uh, going to continue so this weekend the equinox the other weekend and the uh, full harvest moon lunar eclipse and of course we're heading into Virgo I like to call that the re-virginizing energies you're coming back into your purity your twin flame is coming back into your purity, into their purity for both of you. They may seem childlike, hence the childhood issues. A lot of, I would say a lot of men, people that I'm talking to, people that are uh, going down memory lane, they're remembering things of how did their dad treat them, how did grandpa treat them. And this uh, child abuse is coming up quite a bit. Uh, there's uh, um, there's things back in people's families sometimes patterns of is it discipline or is it abusive and that's coming out people are crying it out people are feeling the sadness and grief you're gonna feel sadness and grief from these breakups that you're doing you may feel it really laying on your chest if you feel wheezy if you feel heartache if you feel chest pressure if you feel a sense of almost like a phantom uh, COPD or phantom um, some kind of cardiopulmonary disease like pleurisy asthma bronchitis if you feel a phantom congestive heart failure and by no means do I mean mean to diminish people who actually are truly sick but some of these ways that this feel how your body purges things it will feel as though you're getting sick and your body may tell you things you're getting things out from lifetimes from a deep level so these intense awakenings again for some people they're going to feel urgent if you've left yourself there you're not going to be left for long the push is going to be on again the push now is for getting these people into their place with each other merging together and many of you are having these experiences you're 
popping right at the edge there, or your chakras are lining up and you can feel it, or you're having many merges with your twin. There is a wisdom about this. There's a heart wisdom. There is a heart sense that is doing this in an efficient manner. And I want to say to you also, many of you are upset with how long this takes, but the intensity of these energies and vibrations, bringing your soul into these little carbon-based human bodies. These bodies are like tanks. They're built for survival. And it takes real impact or something to get us out of them. But when you come into the high vibrations, your human body can only handle so much. You're not intended to truly have a nervous breakdown. If you are having a nervous breakdown, if you are having a medical crisis or something you feel is a medical crisis, please seek the help. Because I want to say that to you also. As a twin flame, you're the one bringing the light and love into that place. Please trust. Please know that things are better. They're not perfect. They're better than they were. That, you know, we have some things in place. I can honestly say that if someone tried to, you know, my son would be free of that. Uh, that part is done. Does it stop everything else? No, you still have to educate your children. You still have to take good care of them. You have to take good care of yourself. Taking good care of yourself reflects over to your twin. It happens through the heart. It happens through the heart. So coming into the oneness where you're both able to receive and your cup is emptied out, the cup is your heart, you're pulling in your higher energies. You're receiving. You're holding. You're sending that over to your twin. Don't give up. Your twin is infinitely worth waiting for. I'm going to remind you of why are you doing this. Why are you doing this? Why are you going through it? Why did you come to planet Earth? Because you're here for that truly divine, sacred level of experience. And... I've been criticized for saying lovemaking. My own brother said, stop calling it lovemaking. You know, we have this. And I said, listen, I'm going to respect your wife, and I'll call it lovemaking. If you want to disrespect your wife and say something else, that's between you two. I don't care. But that is actually what it is for twin flames. Twin flames actually make love. When we're together, we make a third energy. And we can feel it and we know it. Now, do not criticize other people. There's people that right now, they're talking about being a twin flame and you know they're not. You know who some of them are. But, you know, they're almost unintentional cheerleaders. They're like, woohoo, twin flames do exist. I'm a twin flame and you want to say, no, you're not. But who are the naysayers? Who's the naysayers now? Go with what you know. Stick to your own true love story. Be ready to receive. If you, do, It's coming in regardless. I even had someone write on there, it's raining men. But it's, rain, it's raining masculine energies. That's a song, by the way. It's rain, The masculine energy is coming in. And this is the sweet masculine. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you probably don't have enough boy children around you. The boys can be rough, but they're very sweet, and you can feel it. And this is what you want. We're done with some of the old stuff. You want the purity. The, it does not diminish the masculine. It does not diminish the feminine. Also, the proper divine feminine, the high electric divine feminine, the high magnetic divine feminine, and get ready because this is this is going to be quite something. Those of you who are Blu-ray Twin Flames, this is intended to happen for you where you are very calm with each other. It will feel natural to be calm. Many, much of this is getting you to back to your natural state of being where you do by being who you are, being with each other. So thanks so much for watching. I'm going to have the links down below for both of my webinars that would be helpful to you. And once again, I will probably have another video uh, 
I don't know, in a few days. I've got mess when I have a message for you and that message comes through from my higher self, I'll be there. And please hang in here with us, okay? Hang in here, stay calm. Please know you're not crazy. You're not crazy because those parts of you that you've been hearing on your multidimensional timelines, it's all going to come into oneness. And that's going to be some fireworks. So thanks now. Enjoy your weekend.